guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist and welcome to my studio. Today we will talk about the latest update for Adobe Fresco. Yes, guys, I love this update so much. I can't wait to share with you my favorite features. This tutorial will be very short, but with a lot of new cool features. Let's jump in. I have opened Adobe Fresco and a first a feature I would like to talk um, about is new shapes tool. You can access to your uh, shapes tool from your toolbar. Simply click on a shape tool, a uh, long press, and you will be able to click on basic shapes tab. Here guys, under basic shapes type, um, uh, tab, we have three different types of shapes. We have circle, square, and polygon. Simply click on any of them and just like that and next to polygon uh, shape you can see that we have plus and minus icon if you will click on a plus icon you will add extra point extra uh, sides basically to your polygon if you would like to uh, remove uh, extra point extra sides from your polygon shape simply click on minus icon just like this now i will switch to circle uh, shape I will resize it and I would like to fill my circle with a red color I will switch to red color and now I'm ready to fill my shape with red color to fill your shape with any color you need to clean uh, click on fill uh, icon under your uh, shape click on fill and yes, Fresco will ask you, do you want to fill your shape, your layer with a vector or a pixel color? Let's do a vector just like this. Now, I would like to add um, um, a square to my art. I will click on square icon. I will create a new layer. I will change color of my um, color to yellow and I will bring size of my shape down just like that and I will ask Fresco to fill my shape with a yellow color. I will click on fill and because I'm using separate layer Fresco will ask me again do you like to fill your shape your layer with a vector or a pixel uh, color. Now let's do pixel just like this. I will switch to brush tool and now I can modify my um, shapes uh, separately. Example, I will, uh, I currently highlighted my um, square shape. I will uh, click on move tool and I will do anything I like. I can do anything I like with my shape. Same with circle. I will highlight my circle layer. I will switch to move tool and I will do whatever I want with this layer. I also can restock it, reposition it. Example, I will uh, reposition it on top of my uh, square layer just like this. Now, if you a fan of uh, Adobe Capture, I am a big fan of Adobe Capture. You can use your shape you created with Adobe Capture. Let me hide all my uh, layers, create a new empty layer. I will click on um, a shape tools icon again. And here guys, I have Adobe Capture library with all my uh, shapes I created using uh, Adobe Capture app. I will click on any shape just like that. I can um, resize it, I can rotate it, I can do whatever I like with it. And I will uh, change color and I will ask Fresco to fill my shape with a uh, color. And again, yes, Fresco will ask, do you want a vector or a raster um, um, layer? Let's do a vector just like this. Guys, this is new uh, shapes tool feature in Adobe Fresco. I love this feature. I hope you will like it as much as I do. Let's talk about another feature. Let's do about vector eraser. I love this feature so much. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to a uh, vector brush. By, uh, by the way, we have a few new brushes. Uh, we have a basic uh, velocity typer. I love this brush. Click, uh, simply click on this brush, increase size of your brush, just like that. And let's create some funny art. Basically, let's create some lines. 
just one, two, three, four, five, six. So I created um, this um, abstract art and I decided that, you know, I want to clean up some edges because I don't want uh, to see these edges. How can I clean up my vector art? Using uh, eraser tool? Sure I can, but now we have a better tool. Now we have a vector eraser tool. I still have highlighted my vector brush. I will click on modifier and I will specify which part of my shape, vector shape, I would like to erase. I will simply drag, click and drag just like that. I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this and I don't want this. Also, I don't want this and this as well. And maybe in the middle, just like this. Yes, just holding your modifier inside of your modifier, not in the middle, inside. You can see that my modifier circle uh, fill with a, black, a white color, entire modifier covered with white color. That, mean, that means I can erase my uh, vector lines right now, just like this. So guys, this is another amazing feature, vector eraser. Now, let's talk, talk about multiple colors. Uh, I will bring uh, my image from my um, camera row. Here I have my image just like that. Let me resize it. Now guys, I would like to pick color out of uh, this painting. I will switch to um, uh, color picker and definitely I can pick any color I want, but I only will, in this way, I will pick up only one color. What if I would like to uh, pick uh, multiple colors in same time and use multiple colors with one brush stroke? Can I do this? Yes, now I can. Now we have multiple color option. On the bottom, uh, in the middle of your, um, at the bottom of your toolbar, we have two icons. Now I have highlighted my top icon, this, um, let me expand this, top icon, this um, icon uh, highlighted in uh, blue light. That means I will, I will be able to pick up only one color. If I will switch to bottom um, icon, as you can see, my eye, eyedropper tool picking up right now different colors. Look at this. My, um, I can pick color, different colors with one click. Example, I would like to pick color for, I would like to use this red color, also orange color, a little bit um, uh, green, or I would like to use a green, yellow, and orange, just like this. I will switch to my live brush. Um, multiple color, um, multiple colors option works with all light brushes and most of uh, pixel brushes. So I will switch to watercolor brush, watercolor wash soft brush, just like that. I will create a new empty layer. I will increase the size of my brush and look at this. Yes, guys, I'm using multiple colors in one brush stroke. Let me hide my board. Look at this, how awesome is it? So guys, this is next my favorite feature, multiple colors. Now let's talk about another amazing feature, a ruler. Um, you, you can name it ruler or um, a straight edge, up, it's up to you. Uh, many users um, used to name it as a ruler, so I will name it a ruler. I will click on this ruler icon just like that. I can reposition my ruler uh, tool to any place I want. I will switch back to my um, vector brush with red color, to better preview for you, and I will create new layer and I will create straight line just like that. Now I can uh, rotate my ruler and I can create uh, another uh, horizon, uh, horizontal line. Guys, even if I will zoom in my document, all parameters will stay. And if you notice, guys, when I'm dragging my uh, line, when I'm uh, when I paint, I have numbers just like this. Look at this. When I will zoom out, 
I, I will rotate my uh, ruler one more, more time and you can see I still have my numbers just like that measurements measurements are very important so guys look at this and now we will talk about my absolutely favorite tool mixer brush yes guys we have mixer brush yeah. let me hide all layers to uh, disable uh, to hide your ruler tool simply click on a ruler uh, ruler icon one more time just like that and now let's talk about the mixer brush oh my god i'm so happy i will create a new empty layer i will use um, a basic uh, brush let's go basic soft round opacity brush and we will use a bright red uh, color just like that we will, we will increase size of my brush and we will add uh, a big splash of a uh, yellow color a uh, red color sorry now i will switch to yellow color and i will add a few splashes of yellow color i will do same with white color and a few splashes of white color so guys how we can blend all of these colors together guys it's amazing i will uh, click on um a uh, pixel brushes family icon and here guys we have a mixer brushes tab click on it and you will be redirected to mixer brushes folder where we have all this amazing mixer brushes click on any brush you like just like i did right now you can uh specify a flow value you can bring flow value in the middle to create more elegant transition between colors you can increase or decrease size of your brush and look at this guys look at this now i can blend my colors in a fresco in absolutely amazing a way if i would like to switch to yellow color i will add splashes of yellow color and i will mix everything in same time same with the red color just look at this let me switch to red yes look at this so guys this is mixer brushes in fresco i'm so happy Ooh. I'm so happy. If you fan of some specific mixer brush tool in Photoshop, you can use your favorite um, Photoshop brushes in Fresco too. Simply cl click on any brush you like in Photoshop and drag this brush into your Creative Cloud folder, Creative Cloud library. I'm sorry. After that, open your library, Creative Cloud library in Fresco. Here I have my the mixer brush a tool a library and here I have my favorite mixer uh, brushes um, uh, mixer brushes uh, I use in Photoshop. Also, guys, I have my um, favorite uh, brushes I use in Photoshop here brushes I use in Photoshop. Also, I have created separate a Creative Cloud library um, with my favorite Photoshop brushes. I clicked on my favorite Photoshop brush. I dragged this brush into my Creative Cloud library. I opened this library in um, Fresco, example, like I'm doing right now. And I, I will, I'm able to use this uh, brush in Fresco. I love it because, example, if I working on some specific project and I would like to have a same uh, brush stroke, um, using my uh, fresco in photoshop i will use my photoshop brushes in fresco and um in uh, photoshop on desktop so guys this is all what i wanted to share with you today this update is absolutely amazing i love it go download update for the press for a uh, latest update for fresco and let me know what you think i know you will love it guys of course you will love it we have uh, mixer brushes now in fresco we have vector eraser we have new shapes guys it's um out of this world i love it so guys thank you so much for your time super appreciate it and i will see you next time bye guys